I am Gillian Anderson, and I'm going to show you what is inside my very heavy Lady Dior purse. <laughs> I don't quite know how embarrassing this is. I might need a bigger version of this bag in order to be able to fit the books that I'm reading. <laughs> is a book about Eleanor Roosevelt that I've been reading because of a project where I play her. When I was working on Margaret Thatcher, the, the movement person, she kept referring to it as almost like a potato stamp. You know, with someone like Eleanor, there'd be a gesture of some kind. In repeating that, it would help one to get into the character. I'm not there yet, so I don't know what that gesture might be. I have about, I don't know, 753 things in the bag. Probably the most important thing is these little chocolate hearts that I got in Prague. I've had them for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Just knowing that it's there makes me feel better, but I may not eat it, or I may, and then I'll discover that it's stale, but chocolate. Now, I don't just have food in my purse, but protein bar. This is what I usually have for lunch. It's terrible, but it's true. Yep, that's me. And then we have uh, Dior lipstick, Rose Montagne. The fantastic thing about these is that you can replace a lipstick and then you don't have to toss this bit, which is good for the environment. Headphones, Bluetooth headphones. Very good, stay in the ear. And just in case they don't. <laughs> Poo bag. I have a, an Australian Labradoodle called Stella, and the name of my dog came from uh, a mixture of, of two characters in my life, Stella Gibson, but also uh, Streetcar. I played Stella's sister, Blanche. Vanessa Kirby, the actress who played my sister, is a dear friend. When I think of my dog, I think of Vanessa. What else do we have in here? This. It's a stress cheek breathing. Refresh and calm your senses so you stress less. And it's true, it does work. It calms me down. I use it more, more with my children than, <laughs> than on set. Hand sanitizer. I don't know what the ingredient is that's in this, but it's really good. And if you smell it deeply, if you have a headache, your headache will go away. That might be a lie, but uh, it worked once and I stand by it. This is a locust uh, that's from Tibet. My brother gave that to me. I carry it uh, because it reminds me of him in whatever purse I cart around. Next, dental floss, toothpicks, toothpaste, just in case. Tampon, important to have one at all times. Now, this is a tape measure, also very important. I like to measure things. <laughs> I haven't measured anything today, but I used it yesterday. I like to know that I can reach in my purse and measure a table. Very, very useful. Floor plans calm me down. And a Tipex pen to reconstruct a floor plan. Always in my purse. This, this is Van Gogh. And there's a bag inside here. Then I can fill it with stuff and more stuff. I have a tendency to, to carry, as you can imagine, quite large bags. So I need to carry a masseuse with me as well. Now, somebody gave this to me. It's gum. It says, there are assholes everywhere. A truer statement has never been uttered. But anyway, that makes me laugh. So I carry it with me, even though I don't eat it. Hairband. I'm almost done, I promise. Somebody gave me this. I think about 10 years ago and I carried it around. She was a stunt coordinator and she said, this is so much better than the Coca-Cola that you drink to give you energy. One day I will use this and if it's still powdery and not solid. This is a pouch that Windsor London gave me that has silk masks in it. I mean, that looks a little like a G-string, but very useful to have a little uh, pouch to keep them from getting covered in zip fizz. And, I mean, ridiculous. It makes sense that I can't find my keys half the time. And then there's my wallet, which is not in here because I can't put it in. <laughs> a roaming credit card and a 20 pound will do the trick. Anyway, that's me.